I've had quite a few requests to try some less saturated sounds with the Was a Tube Amp expander, so we're going to hear my 1977 Strat, which has some Sir Michael Landau pickups in it, going straight into this Marshall JTM45, which is then going directly into the Was a Tube Amp expander. Ignore this cabinet, it is merely a prop in this video. We're running direct. I'm using the onboard IRs and effects in the Was a Tube Amp expander. So, one really cool feature about this is you can fine tune the reactive load impedance using the resonance and presence controls and there are a set of recommended settings for given IRs. So at the moment I'm using an IR of a 4x12 with greenbacks and I've got the resonance and presence controls set accordingly. We'll just go through the five different positions on this guitar with this amp and listen out for the way it reacts to like my picking articulation and my playing dynamics. That is straight up raw, no post-processing. What I would do to sort of tidy that up a little bit is add some high and low pass filtering with the onboard EQ and then add a little bit of the onboard reverb. Let's hear that. Here's the same settings on the amp, but this time I have tweaked the IR. We're going to use an IR of a Vox amplifier with a Celestion Gold speaker. Uh, same settings on the reactive load are recommended. I'll add a little bit of reverb and I've got a little bit of the same post EQ on there. So you can hear that by changing up the IR, it's really changed the tone quite a lot. I'm using a different reverb on there as well. Let's go over, say, to a different speaker. We'll use a G12T75. In this case, I will tweak the reactive load settings to match up. I'm gonna add a little bit of this room reverb. Finally, let's hear a V30 impulse with a bit of the whole reverb on there. Same post EQ settings as before.
Hopefully that gives you an idea of what you can do with this thing for non-high gain tones, basically. I've gone for an edge of breakup kind of tone here because I figure that's where a lot of people like to live with their particular rig. Because you can add pedals to this. Obviously, you can add an effects loop to your amp that doesn't have an effects loop and essentially add like a master volume control to your amp that doesn't have a master volume control. Retain all the characteristics of, you know, your picking articulation and that dynamic interaction between the guitar and the amp and the power section which is really important for those kind of tones and it can be scaled to any volume or run direct and recorded easily at a whisper if that's what you want to do so if you guys enjoyed the video hit the subscribe button get any questions in the comment section i'll see you next time thanks for watching